Welcome to another edition of Thoughts of the Roundtable with me, Matt Rebar. And me, Paul Laux. And today it's going to be kind of a quick one. A little power hour. I know we usually like to get really intimate and... You know, book a hotel room and put flowers in the bed for you guys. But hey, at least it's not a month between episodes this time. (laughs) At least we're not like on like vacations that last like for a month and what I mean, you know, get addicted to life. But it's okay, we're back and we're gonna be more consistent now. I think that's a good promise. So, Paul, you said you had a juicy story for me. Yeah, so last week, and we should tease what we're gonna do later today though, because remember last episode we were talking about the meteor? Yes. I did get some answers. Yes. So we'll go into that a little bit. But yes, funny story before, man. This is it. Sounds like a mundane story, okay? But it is. It has a hilarious parts in it. So, two years ago, I have a printer, okay? Okay. And it broke. All right. Yeah. Pretty and technology we all, we know, breaks. We, we all know how these how these things yeah. are. So, um, eventually, I was like, you know what? I just need. It's one of those things in the back of your head, like an email that you didn't respond to. Mm-hmm. Like I need to get this thing fixed. So. Over the weekend, over, over Labor Day weekend, somehow, I don't know why, I got this bug in my head. I was like, I need to fix this thing. Mm-hmm. Basically, it wasn't printing black, long story short. So I Google all these things online. It's like, you got to fix the printer heads, fix the printer heads. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. So I found out that you have to get like little hoses and mm-hmm. syringes from Epson and like tie, like tie them to the print heads and like flush them out. I don't know how to get these because it's a relatively old printer. So I go on Amazon. <laughs> And this is the, one of the first thing I just got Prime on my account. The first thing I get is all these syringes and tubes. <gasps> They're gonna think you're dealing drugs or taking and like, drugs. And like this liquid that's like it's a solution of sorts. Like the heroin for Prime. Yes. Yeah. And so because it's Prime, of course, it's like somebody in a freaking Astrovan who comes up to you. So this person, like I'm outside at the time, they drive yeah. up in this Astrovan and just hand me these like Saran wrap tubes and <laughs> syringes. <laughs> And they were like, here's your <laughs> syringes, sir. No, that was the most uncomfortable meeting ever. Like, just syringes and tubes. I'm like... I, do you, I, well, do they know it's syringes? Is it like they're like... It was like, yeah, like it was like shrink-wrapped. It, it was like a... Oh. Syringe. And then, like, tubing. What, do you think they, like... When some people order, like, delicate things, do you think they, like, hide, like, sex toys? No, not at all. Really? Long story short, with what happened to my friends at college, we thought it would be hilarious to, um, on my buddy's birthday find the biggest dildo we could find online. Oh, no. We found one that was 18 inches. And oh, we, my Lord. We mailed it to his dorm. It literally just came, like, saran-wrapped. Like, <laughs> like there's, like, like, no guessing. There was, there was you knew blade, it was. like, you could see the veins and everything. Oh, was, my God. No. You'd think that they'd no. be, like, certain things, they'd be like, let's wrap this up. No discretion Gosh, at all. Amazon. So, and I thought, like, it would at least come in, like, an Epson box. Yeah. You know, say, no, it's just literally just tubes and syringes. Yeah. So then 20 minutes later, I'm in rubber gloves up to my elbows. In like, the printer? In the printer, oh, cleaning God. these things out. And one of the printer heads like exploded off because it was so like clogged with black ink. Wow. But long story short, I got it finished. But it looked like I was at a freaking breaking bad. Like getting oh, making your like, syringes drugs. and solutions. Wow. So yeah, that was, that was literally five minutes ago. I need to know what are the weirdest things Amazon, like when they've dropped stuff up, what's the weirdest things that they've dropped up? Would you ever- Like I, combinations I, even, you know? I would want to be a, like an Amazon driver almost just to see the Just like a, like a week. Yeah. Can I like, hey, Amazon call me. I'll do it for a week mm-hmm. just to see and like people study. I used to work at a grocery store and to this day, I don't know if this guy was trolling or not, mm-hmm. but he- um, what, it was like late at night, and he had three things in his basket that he and like. Uh-huh. He so there's plenty of self checkouts, but of course he goes through my lane. Yeah, he had um, wine, mm-hmm. a box of condoms, oh, and a USB drive. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is not like, like the other. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's like, okay, you have to back up your files. Pour a glass of wine. You want to get kinky with those condoms? Pour a glass of wine. Yeah, you need to like. I the condoms and USB doesn't work in it, but all three together, that's paints quite the night, doesn't it? He was like, "Hey, baby, I'm gonna go get us some stuff," and then it was like, "Oh my god, I haven't backed up my iTunes what library." If they, what if they all, he all just needed those independently? It just happened to be at the wrong time. Yeah. Like he he had to get a USB drive because his one at work broke, and yeah. he had a hard week at work, so he Need got a wine. bottle of wine, and then he just needed Rusak and condoms for whatever reason. He's like, "Well, my significant <laughs> other's coming over tonight, so I better get prepared." Oh man. oh, man. To this day, I don't know. What kind of wine, though? That's the question. Do you like remember? One of those cheap $9 wines. 
Uh, Those are the best. A cheap though. nine dollar wine. Me, cheap is like three or four dollar wine. Yeah, I won't go that. Like a nice oak trees at Walmart. I won't go. That's the Walmart signature brand, oak trees. Cheap wine is the best, man. Never pay over twelve bucks. That's say, my rule. I, I was gonna say never pay over nine. Honestly, nine ninety nine. Like barefoot. Like usually, the barefoot price is like mm, barefoot's the, a little sweet for me. Oh, well, I, mean, a little sweet I like it me. sweet. I'm a sweet fan. But uh, so last week we talked about what would happen if a meteor, like if we knew in a decade that a meteor was going to hit, and like, there's no way to stop it, and there's no way to stop, stop it, it. Apparently, like even though oh Colby came over, she ran over to hug me. She's our she little mascot. Like, she was like, oh, I don't want you to be gone in ten years. Don't worry. Um, we asked, what would you do in that decade? Mm. Yeah, so when I asked a lot of my friends about this, and I think the p- thing that pisses me off the most is that none of them can follow directions. <laughs> in the fact that I preface it all to all of them with the fact that like we're not going to stop this. You can't stop this. No, I, I mean the first thing I thought of was like loophole city. I mean, right, right, right. But any then, hypothetical, you're like loophole, loophole, loophole. But then like literally half my friends are like, oh, we developed something to stop it. I'm like, man, it's not. And then they went on to some weird thing with Trump and economics, and I gave up. And, and you're like, the point is, yeah. What would you do? But what did surprise me is a lot of my friends who said they would change literally nothing at all. Yeah. Like, they would just continue their lives as normal, and yeah. which I think I would hope I would do. Yeah. I think most people that I talked to kind of had this thing, well, okay, well, we feel like everyone's going to be normal. It's going to be like, we're just going to continue on. Right. So I'll continue on. Even though I'm still kind of a, th- like, I'm still kind of a fan of the theory that, like, Everything just goes to chaos. Just like everyone's screaming, fire. Well, I feel like it would. Yeah. But I know I don't have enough money to live to quit my job and live off my savings for the next ten years. So I'm gonna have to do something. I mean, you'd probably be foraging. Did you get any other responses though besides like normal? Did anyone say anything like off the wall? I asked my mom. <laughs> I remember did. we're a pod. Mom loves the moms love our moms podcast. love this podcast. Mom approved. And she just said she would like. She gives some really weird, dark answer about... <laughs> like, I'm, she's, like, baking I, cookies, like... like the weirdest thing about sweetie! Is, my mom gave the darkest answer out of everybody, and yeah. that she would just basically just, like, hermit herself. Like, That's kind of what I said a little bit. I said, I mind hermit. Yeah, well, what's fun, fun in that, though? I, I don't know. It's, like, very existential. It's very, like, Henry David Thoreau with, like, I walked into the woods and I never came back. You mm. know? All right, we'll still need those responses. I'm Chops Radio. Yeah, to send to us. Reapstar, Eater, I B S T A R, because I can't have anything easy in life. <laughs> well, shall we get to not the news news with you, Paul? What's not no, the news? No, let's move into your advice. I want to do your advice. You just want to go into advice? Yeah. This is going to be a cute little short episode, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Okay, askmanager.org, my favorite. The topic is office parties where the destination slash activity is a secret. So basically... Destination? I've never had a destination well, party. Well, listen in. Right now, I've been invited to an annual party. All I know is that the buses will leave the office at 4 to a secret location, and they'll be back at 11. Parking's a What office is this? I sorry, I'm just, I'm just amused. Yeah, you're I'm just, sorry you're just, you have a lot of questions. Uh, parking's apparently very limited. There's no public transportation. We're all encouraged to take this bus. But other than the fact that there's going to be a dinner, I have no idea what's happening. But this is so annoying. I like to know what I'm opting into, into before I do it. Um, so for this party, I've opted out. Do you think that people actually like these surprise parties or am I right in thinking this is a bad practice? Now, I love Ask a Manager. She gave the best advice. She goes, ultimately, office parties shouldn't be stressful and, you know, because office parties are supposed to be about building commod- like camaraderie and like, you know, like well-being. Yeah, I know. I said commodity. Com- <laughs> <laughs> That's actually after. You build a commodity after the office party. You're like, we need to work finally. Um, so, like, basically, Ask Manager's like, listen, that, that's stressful and annoying. It's a long time. It's six hours. You don't know what you're doing. Um, and you shouldn't have a destination. If it's, like, it, there's no parking and there's no public transportation, where are they going? In the middle of the woods somewhere? Like, like, if this was my friend group, like, we were all hanging out and said, hey, I don't know, whoever organized yeah. said something like that. That would be kind of fun, you know, whatever. But for a work thing, like, when, uh, when, when work parties aren't that fun anyway. Yeah. And well, then who wants to do this? I... I think it annoys me because I agree with you. If you if you were like, hey, block off Saturday night, I got a fun surprise. I'd be like, okay. I'd be, hell yeah, that would yeah, be great. Cool. But like work party, like what's the best thing that's going to happen? Where are you going to go? Karen gets drunk off two spritzers. You probably don't like half the people there. Oh my God. I can't. I'm, I don't want to put this on the record, but if there was an office party, I would be worried. Like that was a secret six hours. That's scary. Because who's, first of all, you don't know who's going. Because, you know, people are like, oh, I'm going, and then they don't go, right? Yeah. But then you're, like, forced to be there the whole time. It's not like you have the autonomy to leave. It's like, you're there for 11. It's like a uh, field trip you don't want to go on when you're in, you know. 
I mean, middle school. If it turns out that like, oh shit, like we're going this location, and I've always wanted to go to this museum or this going to Cabo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Mexico and back in six hours. That would be cool, but I don't know. So I would say office parties with like a surprise destination. I'd probably skip on that one. I say thumbs down in this situation, yeah. unless. They told you where it is, and they're like, there's going to be surprises at the event, and you can drive there. That's, That's different. Fine. Or if the world's ending in 10 years, then what do you got to lose? <laughs> if the world's ending in 10 years, go on that trip. You know, you deserve it. All right, this one is so frustrating, Paul. I, ooh, I, I like, bring it out. I can't even speak. Dear Abby, should I invite my son's lower class friends to our upper class house? Say that one more time. Yeah. Should I, as a parent, invite my son's lower class friends to our upper class home? I'm confused by what she means by lower class and upper class. Let me explain this. You'll, you'll get it. My 13 year old son plays on a local travel sports team. Many of his teammates could be considered lower class or lower middle class. Oh, so she means legit class. Yeah. Meanwhile, we live in a luxurious home. We don't flaunt it and we're not snobbish, except for in this article that she writes no, in. No, since when? Like, you can't be like, oh, yeah, we don't brag about our house. And meanwhile, the first sentence is like, yeah, his teammates are trash. Like, that frustrates me. But anyway, just moving along. This is what get your ho- gets your house egged. This is <laughs> this is when you know that you're like this is when people calling take a, people at the park. Like, yeah. do they have a permit for that barbecue? This is that kind this of thing. This is behavior. when people take a crap on your front porch. <laughs> like, honestly. Oh, my God. This this whole thing is like literally if 13 Reasons Why was a person, it'd be this <laughs> My son invited a few of his teammates over. It was clear that they had never seen a home like ours. Okay. Okay. Who makes her say that? Okay. Like, do you live in the Taj Mahal? Like, where are you living? They're like, it's clear they've never seen... This bitch seen got them. five bedrooms. She- <laughs> She's like, they've never seen a dishwasher. They've never seen, you know, a beautiful open con- like a construct in the living room. Like, what What do you have at your house that, like, these kids are walking in? I'd want to be invited ooh, over this house ooh. just so I can tip over a $10 million olive jar. I know. Right? Here we go. These, the teammates, these poor teammates, behaved like perfect. Why does she think they're poor, first of all? She just says, could be considered. And you know what I hate about that? She says, could be considered lower class. You know she considers them. Yeah, she's you, she does. She's not saying like, oh, like maybe, I don't know. She's definitely, yes, she she's does. trying to say yeah. it in a way where it's like they yeah. are, but like yes. I want to see yes. me. Yeah. Continue. They behaved like perfect gentlemen. But my mother suggested that it would be, so I guess the grandma or something. My mother suggested that it would be better not to invite the lower class boys over again because it's not fair to them. Her concern is that it might make them feel bad because they have much less than we do. And while I understand my mother's point of view, I also think it can be beneficial for them to see what the possibilities are in the world if you work hard and are successful. What the hell? Right? Like that sentence started off really good. It was like, great. Like you're like, no, I think it's not a big deal because. And this is the worst. Too. This woman needs to be canceled. I, this woman, this, this is like canceled city. <laughs> Here's, are you ready for this awkward statement? She says, perhaps... what it has, we haven't already reached that. Right. Perhaps it will inspire these lower co- no, core class no. people to do better in school or go to college. Because we seeing do, their we home... Have, we don't have time. Seeing their home this. is going to inspire them to do better in school and go to college. We don't, we uh, don't have time for this kind of stuff, man. We can need a new ep- We're going to need another episode for this one. Ready? What, what does she say? I so want to know what she said. And then it says, of course, the primary purpose for their coming over was just for friends to spend time together and have fun. What do you think of these potential unintended consequences, which there are none? Abby just goes, listen. Did you call her a bitch? <laughs> I hope she called I mean, her a bitch. Abby does a good job of being like slapping some, you know, faces without like, you know, you don't feel like she's being mean to you, right? I disagree with your mother. If your son and his teammates enjoy being together in addition to the time they spend doing their sports, they should be allowed that pleasure. And your home just might be the most logical place to host these gatherings because it's large enough to accommodate the whole team. You think? Because they come from a lower income doesn't mean they can't forge meaningful and lasting friendships with your son. And many successful individuals weren't born with the proverbial silver spoon in their mouths. And many successful individuals did not attend college. They went to trade and tech schools and provide themselves and their families with very comfortable lifestyles. And I was like, thank you abby thank you for addressing all those cans of worms <laughs> she's still not gonna invite the kids over though i just the audacity it's like she's assuming that these kids are like poor like right hey. we've all met people like this and though. then she's then she goes then she goes ahead and was like oh we're not snobbish while acting snobby then goes ahead to be like oh they behaved great 
then goes to, well, my mom thinks, and I get this is the mom's concern, but she's she's legitimately taking the mom's advice almost because she's writing to Dear Abby, right? So she's thinking, okay, maybe. Well, my mom's see, you right. know, you know, she had some of these mentalities stuck in her head already when she's like, when she's talking about inspiring people yeah. to, and then that, I mean, see, and that's the worst thing is like the concept of like. Okay, they can't just come over and play over, uh, Overnight, Night Watch? What's that game? What? Overwatch? Overwatch? Is that the game? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of um, Overwatch and, uh, what's the other one? Play Night, Night Fort. Night Fortnite? Fortnite, there we go. <laughs> Could you never talk about video games again, honestly? <laughs> Suddenly our video game podcast is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you know, instead of just coming over to play Overwatch and Fortnite. Did you call it Night Fort? <laughs> I still can't get over it's that. It's been a long day, in case you can't tell. You know, instead of being able to play these video games and, like, eat chips and, like, I don't know. What do, what do teenage boys do? What do straight teenage boys do when they hang out in high school? I was going to say something, but it was probably going to be censored. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Whatever teenage boys on the football team do. Whatever. Like, instead of just hanging out, it has to be inspirational. It has to help them do better Dude, in I would, school. Or, oh, like, man. If the I, idea of, like, oh, well, because of our, you know, tile and our veranda, these kids are going to go to college? If I knew that she considered me lower class and I got invited over there, I would take the biggest dump in her pool. <laughs> and, like, I'd be like, y'all got some, you like, got some king fresh size food, Snickers y'all. floating in there. She's oh going to have to clean God. the whole thing out. I mean, it makes sense because. I mean, that's what happens to people like that, though. What and what did she do to get all the money? Because I'm now I'm kind of curious. You know what's funny? Actually, it's it's the the name, the person who wrote the article. It's Sports Dad in the South. So it's actually a guy speaking. This is a guy. But let's be real. She, he's Why acting like a real queen. Why do we assume it was a woman the whole time? I, because I don't know. But he's acting like a real queen. So it doesn't really matter to me. But you know, it, what it doesn't do? matter even what gender or who you're from. It's just this idea that like. You think your house is this magical place that like is gonna fix kids? To be it's like better. he it's like he owns Neverland Ranch or something. You know? <laughs> no, <laughs> dear Abby, I own Neverland Ranch. <laughs> but I mean seriously, and we've all met people like this. What would you rather do? Spend a seven hours. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> spend seven hours on a mysterious office party that you're bus to and from and can't get out, or. Attend this person's home for an hour. Do I know this person said these comments? Yes. This is like the person from this article. Oh, who I wants you to oh, be inspirational. I, oh, man. I would go to the party for sure. <laughs> I'd party. never be invited. No, 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 not the office party. Oh, the, 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 the house. I'd never party. be invited back. Yeah. If I knew that they had said that, oh yeah. They'd be like, well, does this inspire you to go to college? And you're like, I have a master's. <laughs> They're like, well, are you inspired to be rich? And I would like, just constantly one-up them on knowledge yeah. or totally destroy their No house. offense. This seems like the family that's like, if you work hard. Because look, it's like, see what the possibilities are in the world if you work hard and are successful. This seems like the kind of people who think that like, if you work hard, you'll it be It sounds rich. very entitled. It's not like, I feel like these are the people that like, people are like, this, this article gives me like that. Oh, poor people are poor for a reason. I work very you know hard. I, I have mean, a little no, ranch like, house. That's all. That's all I need. I love your ranch house. This is a perfect house. Even though my dog yaps sometimes. You know what I'm thinking of getting? This is gonna end on a weird note. Like down the line, not right a now. House? Because well, a mini one of those mini house cabins. Like a tiny house? Yeah. Like the one on wheels you can drag around. Yeah, but not like a nasty like RV because RVs look like. But no, like a legit tiny RVs. house. But yeah, like a cute little. Do you cabin. know those things cost more than like my standalone house? Yeah, but like then I can transport it wherever I want. Where are you gonna go? You're in Ohio. That's the thing. Maybe I don't want to be in Ohio. Maybe me and my tiny house are gonna go. Wait, where? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I got ten years till the bomb drops. I mean the meteor. You're not gonna take it anywhere. Maybe it's I want to play. You're just gonna Fortnite. live in people's backyards. Which, to be fair, would be fun. I would, I would have fun. Yeah, sure. Okay. I believe. Come on, it'd be that. fun for me to be in it would not. for three months. Oh, okay. What I feel bad is when I see that like tiny house, whatever shows, and they got like two teenagers. Yeah. It's like, damn, man. I just, th- I, I was thinking of it, but I don't know. You know me. I go through a lot of thoughts. Yeah. Like last week, I. What thought- do you do? Pull it with your little Mitsubishi Eclipse. <laughs> Hey, my Mitsubishi is cute, and I have to drive to Ashland tonight, and I know that it's going to have great gas mileage. So. It's got two doors. You think it can haul a house? It has four doors. What are you talking about? You haven't even seen my car, apparently. Uh, well, this was a great smaller edition. Still pretty good, though. Table. I mean, 20 minutes of excellent quality. Hey, better than nothing, right? Exactly. Until next time. I'm Paul Laux, a.k.a. Chops Radio on Twitter. And I'm Matt Rebar on Twitter, H-R-I-B-S-T-A-R, Rebstar. Peace out. Later.